yanda wani fasto ya tashi matacce daga cikin akwatin gawar sa a coci wannan lamari ya kulle kan kowa da kowa tare da haifar da kace nace a tsakanin al'umma an fito da wannan mamaci daga cikin mutuwa ne a inda wannan fasto ya tsaya a kansa yana kiran sunan sa yayin da bai amsa ba sai yace da mutane ku daga hannayen ku sama bayan mutane sun daga hannayen su sama sai yayi addu'o'i sannan ya ci gaba da bayyana musu cewa wannan mutun zai tashi daga nan sai ya ci gaba da wasu karance karance akan wannan gawa sannan ya fara shafa wannan akwatu ta gawar wannan mamaci yana ci gaba da fade fadan sa sannan ya fara kokarin taba wannan mamaci domin ya ba shi umarni da ya tashi yana yi yana addu'o'i sannan ya fara dafa cikin sa yana cewa fasto yana umartar ka da ka tashi ka tashi ta ke anan sai wannan gawa ta miki he was dead is now alive jesus jesus say Nampa choci ta dauki sowa da ihu a inda suka dinga wakokin su na choci suna ci gaba da yaban Jesus suna kara bayyana hakikanin imanin su da Jesus The coffin is empty Jesus Daga nan sai wannan fasto ya taho tare da wannan gawa a inda aka zo da shi aka aje shi akan kujera sannan fasto ya rika ba shi abinci yana ci har da ruwan sha da hannun sa wannan lamari ya haifar da kace nace a tsakanin mutane wanda hatta kasashen turai sun yi magana wannan fasto daya ne daga cikin manyan manyan shahararren fastoci na south africa wannan abu ya faru shekarar da ta gabata wanda da yawa daga cikin kristoci suka kare imani da wannan addinin nasu cewa addinin gaskiya ne musamman ma a tarihin annabi isa alaihi salatu wasalam ya kasance yana tashin matattu sai dai ba a jima ba aka samu wani hazikin krista dan youtube ya fito ya sake bidiyo yana karya ta wancan fasto a inda ya tona masa asiri da cewa dan fara ce yana amfani da kamera da rufa ido yana cutan mutane you are missing this video it means you did not press the notification bell we told you to press the notification bell so that you will not miss anything the bell is there click subscribe and press the bell press it well well eh uh -huh. When, after you press the bell anything we drop you will see it today we are talking about afar look out sorry half cow half human being. sorry half 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 look out pastor sorry man of the gods half look out yes by the way do you know that this anamano is the richest pastor in africa if you see the way this animal enters church he rides in chariots of bentley and 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 escorts and horses as if he's the king of africa yace wannan fasto din shine mafi kudin dukkan fastocin africa shine fasto din da yafi kowane fasto hawa motoci masu tsata a inda yake yawo da manyan motoci da mashina tare da yan rakiya kai ka ce shine sarkin africa baki daya but bia you people do you know that this man is the richest man pastor in Africa and this idiot decided to use his cameraman as 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 actor for miracle cameraman you could not go and hire somebody hey jesus christ look at it this young man is his personal cameraman this picture was taken the taking some years ago Look at it look at the face identified of local Ladies and gentlemen this man went to hire his own cameraman to be his actor we are ashamed of you Wannan sakaran mutumin ya yanke shawarar amfani da mai daukar hoto domin ya yaudara mutane da cewa yana tayar da matattu ya yaudara mutane ta hanyar amfani da mai daukar hoto a zuwan cewa shi mutum ne mai mu'ujiza yana tayar da matattu 
sai dai wannan bidiyo an dauke shi tun wasu shekaru da suka wuce wannan mutumin shine mai daukar hotunsa na musamman ku kalla da kyau ku gane tare da cewa wannan mutumin kana ganin shi kaga mashayin giya amma kuma tataccen harzikin mutun ne mutun ne mai kaifin basira domin shine mutun na farko da ya fara to na asirin wannan fasto ya gano makircin sa babu shakka yan dan fara sukan yi amfani da dabaru wanda ba kowa ne zai iya gane makircin sa ba sai mutun mai tsananin hazaka tare da cewa sukan hada da rufa ido da wayo kala kala wanda idan aka samu wani haziki yakan gano abin da suka kulle na makirci ba tare da rufa idan su yayi tasiri akan sa ba daga nan sai wannan mutum ya sake tona asirin wannan fasto a inda ya bayyana cewa wannan fasto yana da awar cewa ya san gaibo a inda wani mutum ya zo wajen sa a coci yace shi ma fasto ne yana bukatar a yi masa addu'a inda wannan fasto ya yaudare mutane da cewa wannan mutumin ƙarya ya masa ta alhalin baki suka hada ga dai abin da yau kana ku gani da idan ku are you a pastor i'm a pastor i'm pastor safe pastor who pastor steve pastor steve yes sir. is it your first time here yes it's my first time your pastor meaning you have a church yes mr of course what's your church i got branches in uh, rustenburg and in pretoria but it's in binoni all right so your church is in binoni yes man of course but you have branches yes man of course in rustenburg and in pretoria man of course mm. What do you want me to do for you? I want you to be to pray for me more of God. My church is not is not well. Your church is not well. Yes, man. I should pray for you. Please, man of God. You know you man of God. You're looking for my trouble. Oh, man of God. Your pastor who Pastor Steve man of God. You Pastor Steve. Yes, man of God. You know the pastor. Hey. Has he come here to test the anointing? Unfortunately for him pastor offers a seer. They sent you here. A nan wajen wannan bakon pastor din ya zo wajen wannan shahararren pastor a inda ya bayyana masa sunan sa ya bayyana masa cewa shi ma pastor ne yana da coci har rassa gare shi amma kuma coci din sa ba daidai take ba yana so ya yi masa addu'a don shi ma ya sami mu'ujiza wanda a karshe wannan pastor ya bayyana masa cewa kai ba pastor bane sannan sunan da ka ga mun ba haka bane ƙarya kake aiko ka akai da jin haka sai mutane suka hawo ihu suna ci gaba da kamba ma wannan mutum Saf he is brave to come into this particular century under false pretense of being a pastor does he not know that the anointed of the lord ought not to be touched beloved there are places you cannot afford to disrespect i pity him look at how enraged the entire church is beloved do you understand the magnitude of the disrespect he has shown to the god who appointed pastor off jesus name This is a serious matter. Pastor Alpha is a guardian of this altar and he looks directly into the eyes of the Daga nan sai wannan hazikin mutum ya ci gaba da tona asirin wannan pastor yana fito da dalilai da suke tabbatar da cewa hadin baki suka yi da wannan mutumin na biyu da ya zo ya ce shi ma pastor ne yana da rassa a gurare da dama ya zo ai masa addu'a ne dan ya sami mu'ujiza. A karshe sai wannan mutumin ya rufe da cewa wannan pastor din mutun ne mai jaraban neman suna mutun ne mai tsananin alfahari da nuna cewa shi wani ne let me tell you my name is aflu kau he is not just a prophet he is a dangerous weapon in the hand of god see the pride in you you can see you can tell that is you are proud your name is aflu kau he sent it against you that ha All you men of you are playing with God. Let me tell you. You are playing with God. Hakika wannan hazikin mutum yayi matakar ruba ni mamaki da mamaki kwarai a ce wanda ba musulmi ba ya san cewa alfahari da takama ba a babace mai kyau sannan kuma ya san cewa hakan shiga hurumin Allah ne wasa ne da lamarin Allah. Muna roƙon Allah ya sa masu hankalin cikin kiristoci ira ira wannan mutumin su gane gaskiya su bi addinin musulunci. Baya ga haka wannan mutum wanda ya yaudare mutane da cewa yana tayar da matattu bayan ya ga asirin sa ya tonu 
wata kila daga bisani tsoron Allah ya ji da kansa ya fito ya bayyana cewa ƙarya yake yi ya yau da mutane a inda na ga wani shiri da akai da shi inda yake bayyana cewa gaskiyar magana wannan mutumin fa ba matacci bane yaudara ce kawai ya shirya wannan shine title din tattaunawar da akai da shi a gidan TV Pulse TV News wanda title din shine kamar yanda kuke gani a rubuce Dead Man Resurrected Pastor Apologizes for Hiding the Truths wato mutumin da yake claiming din cewa yana tayar da matattu ya fito ya nemi uzuri ya nemi yafiya game da boyewa mutane gaskiya da yayi to Allah ubangiji ya kiyaye gaba wannan kuma wani fasto ne wanda yake da'awar cewa yana bugawa Allah waya ga inda ya tattara mabiyansa nan yake waya da Allah a gaban su bisa yaudara yes, is this heaven yes, is it heaven yes, I have a woman here. Yes. What do you have to say about her? Yes. Ah. Shi ma wannan wani fasto ne a can South Africa wanda ya shahara wajen damfarar mutane ta hanyar yi musu dabaru da rufa ido da amfani da tsafi a wani lokacin domin sassafce hankalin mutane akan cewa suna da mu'ujiza. Allah ya azurta shi da tuba daga wancin abun tare da kashi bai musulunta ba amma kuma dai an rage banna anan an yi hira da shi a inda yake bayyana hanyoyin da suke bi wajen yaudarar mutane wanda da kansa ya bayyana cewa ba za ka yi tasiri wajen ka yaudari mutane a cocu ba da sunan mu'ujiza har sai ka shiga kungiyar asiri daga basani dai ya bayyana cewa ya rufe cocin sa inda ya umarci mabiyansa da su je su nemi cocin ta gaskiya kashi ina ma dai a ce bayan ya rufe cocin musulunta yayi sai dai shari'a ta Allah ce matakar zuciyar sa ta karaya muna masa fatan tuba wata rana gaba daya you say that in mozambique mm. you went and you gained a power called fire by force yes in nigeria you then went and got a power call back to sender yes and then in zimbabwe you got one you you met a man that can remove objects from somebody yes what did those powers mean yes and and how did you utilize them okay uh the the kind of power that i collected a uh, in a simple summary i can say is demonic powers mm -hmm. because when you talk about demonic powers you talk about uh things that happens without human beings understanding mm -hmm. so when i collected them I, I was trying to have these miracles happening in the church mm -hmm. yes so so i went to nigeria i collected all those powers like i went to mozambique but all these powers in a way somewhere they teach you how to deceive people mm, sure. because it is not 100 percent power mm. the power is to deceive people but mm. other things is tricks and staged miracles <laughs> and i want i'm how, curious how you actually collect because mm. you make it sound like a simple procedure you pick something up at the shop how did you collect the powers all those powers they have uh, a procedure like initiation in Nigeria, before they give it to you, you have to join what we call a secret cult. It's a secret society where you belong to this particular spiritual house. Mm. And in that, you have a spiritual father, mm. somebody who initiates you into that a kingdom. And you serve them. Before you go to the church, you bow down to those altars. Before you do anything, and in the church, you are no longer preaching Christ. You have to preach prosperity. You mm. have to prophesy to people. You have to teach people that demons are following them. So you shift away from the true gospel and you start bringing this end time gospel yau darar da fastoci suke wa mabiyansu a coci ta wannan fuskar da samu asali ne sakamakon kangarewar mabiyan mabiyan sun waye gari ba Allah bane a gaban su duniyar su tace a gaban su shi yasa zaka samu babu wani fasto da zai iya tsaurin ido ya hana su shangiya da zai yi to da ka samu kaso 75 cikin 100 sun watse sun bashi hakan ce ta sa fastocin ba sa iya gaya musu gaskiya sai suka koma dabbar su ta hanyar biyewa san zuciyar su da ba su labarai na gaibo da ba su asiri da niyar cewa wannan abun mu'ujiza ce kamar dai yadda ka ga malaman bid'a suna yi a kasar mu ta hausa suna yaudarar mutane da tsafa tsafe da sunan cewa lakani ne shi yasa zaka samu daga cikin malaman tsubbu masu jingina kansu da musulunci har da masu baiwa karuwai sa'a domin kawai su sami abun duniya wannan shine lamarin dukkan malamin da ba zai iya tsayawa ya karantar da mutane addini akan hanya lafiyayya ba karshen sa zai koma ga bin san zuciyar mutana 
wannan shine karshen musibar da san girma da san duniya yake kai mutane malami da Allah shine wanda zai ga wa mutane gaskiya ko da kuwa a ce wannan gaskiyar za ta yi musu dace ba wanda zai karkata da tare da san zuciye su duk inda suka karkata ba dan haka muna kiran al'ummar kristoci da su karbi addinin musulunci domin addinin musulunci bai tabbatarwa da kowa mu'jiza ba sai annabawa idan mutum malami ne ya ka cinka da shi maka addu'a in Allah ya so zai iya karba in Allah bai so ba ba zai karba ba babu wani abu da ke hannun malami addinin musulunci yayi umarni da girmama annabi Isa da babar sa Maryam sai dai addinin musulunci ya tsarkake ubangiji daga a jingina cewa yana da da koma ta matsayin annabi Isa alayhi salatu wasalam a musulunci matsayi ne na zababban bawa manzan Allah wanda Allah ya zabe shi ya aiko shi zuwa ga halittun sa dan ya kira Yesu zuwa ga su bauta masa shi kadai kada su yi tarayya da shi da komai a cikin bauta Masa kallo na gode da kuka bada lokacin ku ga tashar Alfurqan wal Huda TV sai dai kafin mu yi sallama idan ya kasance wannan shine ziyara ka ta farko a wannan tasha ina baka shawara da ka danna subscriber sannan ka danna karar wasanarwa domin ta haka ne kadai za mu iya sanar da kai a duk lokacin da muke gabatar da shirye-shiryen mu na gode wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh